We are back at it again here with another video with Invest for Tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, continuing to test key resistance levels. And in today's volatility, our SPY bot at 7.30 a.m. sent out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward, inflows cross the midpoint to the upside. Full strength there on 42 vision and call options went up. 150 percent plus within an hour guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index fighting to hold support and in today's video we're going to break down the key levels i would watch going into next week but before we do i want to share with you guys the home opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the discord the home of day was spectacular and beyond expectations and if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so the home of day was from our tesla bot our tesla bot at 10 25 a.m sent out a bear indicator and from that moment forward outflows cross the midpoint to the downside pure weakness there on 42 vision and put options went up a hundred percent plus within an hour guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump to these charts here we are with the spy stock the s p 500 index doing a full transition from the dip area to the rip area back on wednesday coming back down to red bars and continuing multiple rip areas of bright green bars from yesterday to today if this is your first time coming across the channel this is 42 vision which allows us to see the dips from the rips the rips to the dips and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts and we also use our bone bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation which i'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility so here we are with the spy stock the s p 500 index back under a bull indicator on the 30 minute chart since yesterday at the 50372 level and it broke through key resistance levels that we were watching going into today's volatility which we're going to break down in just a moment but it wasn't the only stock under a bull indicator you had the qqq here as well on the 30 minute at 425 you also had tesla through the volatility holding up and getting a bull indicator today at 180 and running up to 184 you had apple under full strength there going into earnings and today continuing from way down here at 171 under a bull indicator and we also had netflix here with full strength yesterday and continuing today under a bull indicator since the 554 level and full strength there up to highs here of 580 so definitely something to not ignore here multiple stocks were under strength and under a bull indicator here in the last two days and we could see it here with lots of bullish strength right and continuing a staircase effect from way down here as we see it now it's going to be crucial for inflows to hold up to continue to justify these moves and that's what we're going to look at and pull up in just a moment but when we zoom out and look at this from the one hour we could see a bull indicator here since the 500 level it was used as support yesterday above 501 it broke out 
and continued to pull away from it and it did a full transition from the dip area to rip areas yesterday in the after hours and today continuing with full strength right no bear indicator in the process in the bigger picture and no dark green or red bars it continued bright green so the strength was there to the upside right and that's what 42 vision allows us to see where the weakness and strength lies in conjunction with the born bear indicators in our inflow versus outflows now when we zoom into the volatility of the 15 minute we can see in the chop a first bear indicator popping up since yesterday's bull indicator at 502 for the first time here at 509 now it quickly got canceled because no red bars popped up and also no white with red borders these were dark green and red borders and then it quickly switched from dark green with red borders to bright green continuing the strength and here in the after hours a bull indicator has popped up near the highs of the day right where things would slow down up here at 512 this is crucial and critical going into next week inflows need to push upwards to justify this if not this could be volatility here within this tight range of 508 to 512. i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflows and break down the key levels i would watch going into next week here we are with the inflow versus outflows on the spy stock the s p 500 index crossing over yesterday and today's volatility while it was sitting flat it was above the midpoint and red sitting at 1.06 and as soon as it started pushing away from the midpoint and it hit highs up here at 5.55 things started to reflect that strength into the charts moving from the 506 level to highs up here of 512.50 nearly right so here we are with it holding up all day through the volatility even on this pullback the reason why the chart didn't collapse completely and fall is because these outflows were not enough to cross the midpoint if it crossed it would have started to pull things down even further it found support and in the middle of the day it switched over from red to green and you could see that move back up towards the 512 area and it's fighting here in the after hours to get close to it right it's sitting at 511 91 now outflows have began but again the divergence is it's pushing up higher because those outflows have not crossed to the downside so i will be watching if this could switch back from red to green in these after hours and going into next week now on the one hour chart we could see those inflows holding up but all day and this is a divergence again outflows have began while the stock is pushing upwards but it has not completely collapsed to the downside and it found support because it has not crossed the midpoint inflows are still dominating even though it's dropped from 7.2 and it's red and sitting at 3.73 as we speak in the after hours it is still above the midpoint and positive so something to watch there in the bigger picture if this were to continue to the downside now in the volatility of the 15 minute we do have a crossover right it's fought all day to stay above but outflows have now started to dominate it's really close there to the midpoint sitting at negative 0.27 as we see there and that's something i will be watching because if it pulls down even further away from the midpoint it could start to reflect that weakness into these charts test key support levels and roll that weakness over here into the 30 minute pushing it to the downside right and if it does the first support i'll be watching is 510 then below that comes 508 and then the 505 level now to the upside it's going to be crucial and critical for these inflows to cross back over switch from red to green continue this staircase effect here to the upside roll that strength over into the 30 minute switching it from red to green and pulling upwards and the first resistance is the 51250 level then above that i'll be watching 514 and then comes the 517 level these are the key levels i'll be watching to the upside and to the downside the bull and bear indicators are going to be crucial and the inflow versus outflows i will be watching them closely as they've started to pull downwards on the one hour and 30 minute and it's below on the 15 minute they need to all switch back to green and cross back over the midpoint here in the volatility as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.